Good afternoon. I've just broke out this diesel heater, which I've had in my shed for about over a year now and not used. And I'm going to do an experiment. Both my batteries in my shed down the bottom are dead. They won't have enough power to power it. So I have a spare battery, which is a seven amp hour battery for a motorbike. Uh, I bought it brand new for a lawnmower actually, uh, but we got rid of the lawnmower because it wasn't that good. Anyway, so we got this thing. Uh, I've done a bit of a, a video on it before. Someone said the tubes I use is rubbish and everything. Well, that wasn't the point. Also, on the front of this, if you look at that, it's got a single um, hole at the front. It did come with four, uh, four individual ports. So I changed it for that, which was absolute doddle to do, and you can get them off eBay. And I was quite chuffed with that, because I didn't want to do all four ports, I thought it was a waste of time. Anyway, without further ado, we're going to have a go and see if we can fire up this diesel heater using this little tiny battery. Because I'm not too sure the ampage or what it needs to fire, fire it up, okay? So... Oh, we have voltage. I've got the exhaust going outside. I've got it mounted on block so it doesn't burn. Because that's one thing. I want to try and mount this in in the roundhouse, but outside the roundhouse, if you see what I mean. So we're just going to fire it up. I haven't done this for ages. Right, okay. We've got a question mark there. I don't know what that is. Usually those are heater bars, so whether I've got a fault somewhere, I'm not too sure. Okay, give that a sec. We got I bought extra fuel, but I didn't realise I think there's plenty in it. Yeah, look at that. It's half a tank. That's the beauty of these, they are so versatile and light. And also I bought the one which I've got in the garage at the moment, which is a H Corey or something like that. It's okay and it works fine, but it's such a stupid design because you have to get the heat vent, which is brilliant on this, is at the front, and then the induction is at the back. Same with the with the air vent, I'll show you that. Bear with me. So you've got the air vent at the back here, the main induction one, and then you've got your filter at the back here as well, all out the way, and your exhaust is coming out and going outside. Where the Hick H Corey one, or wherever you pronounce it, the exhaust goes outside. Um, this is at the front, and this is at the front. So it's drawing air from the front, and then the heat comes out the back and goes in. A stupid design. Anyway, let's just see if this works. See if she clicks. We've got a click, but I'm not going to hold anything out until we get some heat. So I'll come back in a second. Sounds good, though, doesn't it? Oh, another question. Has anybody found an actual quiet pump? There's a few on the market, I believe, and I've bought a couple, but they don't seem to work very well. Anyway, give it a second. That was a little bit weird. It stopped for a second. And now it's started again. I can smell burning fuel. So the question was, well, still is, can we run one of these nice little portable diesel heaters of a motorbike battery. And we'll find out in a minute. Properly find out in a minute. Well, so far so good. This exhaust working well. It's just kicked into uh, hyper mode. <laughs> She's firing up all right. I've got to admit, pretty good. I mean, yeah, I mean, it should be no reason why. I was just not too sure what the amp just would kick out to um, control the fan, the pump, and everything else, and ignite the uh, diesel heater, the actual um, heater plug. It seems to have done the job. It seems to have done the job. Well, let's have a look. Yep, we have, we have heat. We have, definitely have heat. Now we're on three, I think it goes up to six. Four, five, six, okay. Right. 
give it a give it a couple of more minutes well it's all going if anybody uh watching this if you want to watch it um I, you know got a funny feeling there must be something out there where you can buy a very similar item this is very light where whether you've got your vent on or not makes a difference you could have no vent on that i could take that off all right you've got a short exhaust or something very similar that you can just put out through the back and the battery power is inside you imagine how compact that would be that would be brilliant as long as you've got the exhaust done properly probably mounted with bigger feet or a mount that comes out the side of the v well this comes out the side but i mean higher up you know because your, your, your units here i have chuck it out some heat that is well done um so if your exhaust was well, slightly higher so you wouldn't have to mount it or right, then you could put this so it's totally totally portable including the power supply into it yes you could do it from your car battery and whatnot but i mean as a totally portable device there we go just for a little interest anybody knows if it does send me a link in the comments so it's the temperature in here now it's gone up to 18 it started at 8 it's now 18 it says I'm gonna let that run for a little bit longer and then no what I'm gonna do now I'm gonna drop it down to the lowest which is one which you should quieten down quite a bit there we go down to one let it run for a bit catch you back in a minute look at the, look at the temperatures going up I mean I got the log burner going as well but 31 so far these heaters are amazing you know some of if I didn't need to I'd buy another one of them <laughs> but I don't need to so look at this oh the heat if this had a heaty phone, you just feel it. It's beautiful, honestly. Really nice. What I might do is I camp out one of these nights, um, get this running outside, put it in some sort of protection, and then uh, I will uh, stay in the tent with this running. That'd be lovely. Really toasty. Look at that. What a lazy bugger. That's me, that is. I haven't... <coughs> Excuse me. I haven't tightened down the nuts properly on the feet. We'll have to do that. Look at that one. Okay, last thing to do is take it up to six. And uh, I do this on mine in the van as well. And people say there's no need to do that. You should. They should just um, reach their maximum speed, which cleans out the um, combustion chamber or the furnace inside the diesel heater. No, it doesn't. So don't listen to anybody. Anybody says do your own thing. I have always now took this up to six, especially the one in the van. I have had no problems, zero problems with it. If I don't and shut it down at one or three, she smokes like you wouldn't believe and has trouble starting. So I always take it up to six for 10 minutes, I'll let it clean itself out, and then I'll shut it down. So yeah, use your own, use your own initiative. Don't listen to anybody else, all right? Because we all seem to know it all. No disrespect to anybody, but they do. Anyway, the uh, the moral of the story is: Will my diesel heater run off a car battery, even though it's not been started for over a year? And the answer is yes, it will. Not a car battery, a motorbike battery. Now, this is like I said, seven amp hours, twelve volt. This is roasting. That is roasting. Anyway, so will it run from a car battery? Yes, it will. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up and a like. That would be great. If you wish to subscribe you can if you don't don't worry about it you get a free video to watch all right take care and we'll definitely definitely catch you in the next one